The next questions we're going to look at come from Awona Vivian D. Uh, this commenter asked a few related to display options. So let's take a look at questions one through three here. Um, we already looked at question three in the last video of how do you add a trail to a body. So say you've got an object that is animated, for example, here in our animation with time code. Uh, we learned last time you can do that by using this make trail argument. Um, make underscore trail equals true will create this little path that we saw behind the shape. Uh, so everywhere the shape goes, uh, this trail follows behind. Now you might not want to have it on the screen the entire time. So like once this thing repeats, um, you know, you don't need it to, to, to keep all of those dots on the screen. And in fact, eventually this thing will slow down after it has too many dots on the screen. So there's another option under make trail. Um, where you can set how many data points are left behind. Uh, so this is the make trail argument. Um, and so what you can do here is you can set the retain option. So if I go over here and I say retain equals 10, it'll only retain the last 10 uh, data points on the trail. That's probably going to be too few for this animation is my guess. Yeah, so all of those points are stuck within the sphere there. So let's make this maybe a hundred. Forgot to turn on my num lock again. <clears throat> there we go. So you see now it's got a finite length to the trail. So it's removing those other data points. So it only shows you the most recent data points, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at question number one here. How can we specify a color that is not predefined? So when we defined this thing's color earlier, we used the prefabricated color dot green. You can also specify an RGB code by using a vector argument. So the vector argument, uh, let me just make a note here, uh, color equals vector uses the red, green, blue code. So if you wanted red, you would put in one comma zero comma zero. And you make these, I believe you make these between zero and one, or you can make them any number and it'll automatically scale it, I think is the trick. Uh, let's take a look. So this should give me a red sphere. There it goes. And you notice the make trail is the same color as the uh, original object. How do I make an independent color for the make trail? Um, let's see. Okay, you can change uh, trail underscore object dot color equals something. Okay, so let's try that out. Um, trail object. Okay, so I think we need to change that after we created it, it looks like. So I could say my underscore sphere, uh, oops, excuse me, dot, what is it called? Trail underscore object, trail underscore object dot color. So that's easier to select all or select it copy and paste uh, let's do this one vector let's see red green blue let's make it green so we have zero one zero so this one should be setting red this one should be setting green control two uh that color got some property of color of undefined my sphere dot trail underscore object. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at this under the vPython documentation. I need to look at it under the Glow script documentation because they're using a slightly different version of vPython. Um, leaving a trail on Glow script gets me trail underscore color. Okay, so let's actually get rid of this. And let's put in this trail underscore color equals vector. Uh, we wanted green, right? Zero, one, zero. There we go. All right, let's try that now. Yeah, GlowScript is on a slightly different version than the downloadable vPython. Um, so they're, sometimes their they're command names are slightly different. So here you've got the red uh, sphere being followed by the green make trail, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can customize these however you like. So I can make this red and green, which of course I know makes the color yellow. I knew that, of course. I didn't need to wait to see that to confirm it. Um, so yeah, you can you can play around with this. I believe 111 will give you will give you white or black. I think it gives you white because it puts in all the colors. Yeah, there we go. 
Here we go. So zero, zero, zero would give you black, but of course that you can't see against the background. Uh, this person also asked the question, how can we specify the transparency slash opacity of a, of a body? So there's another option you can add on here called opacity. Um, you can set this to a, a, a decimal value and it will make the object semi-transparent. So an opacity of one is completely opaque, so that's the default value. An opacity of a half will make it 50% opaque or 50% transparent. So you see we can kind of see through the sphere here and actually that's the trick to seeing the make trail inside of the sphere. Isn't that cool? We didn't see that before because this thing was opaque. Um, and of course you can play around with that. You can get that all the way down to zero. That's handy because then you can make the thing invisible. See, so we don't see the sphere at all. There's actually a slightly easier way to do that uh, if you change the thing's visibility. So for example, you can say mysphere.visibility equals false. Is it visibility or visible? I suppose we're about to find out. Oh, I should make the opacity non-zero to test it. So if I make the opacity one, it's gonna be opaque, but this is gonna change its visibility. Nope, that did not. It needs to be visible, my bad. Visible. Uh, setting a, well, I guess, I guess it is setting an adjective equal to an adjective, so I guess I'm okay with that. Oh, that didn't work either. Okay, never mind that. I'm gonna have to look up, oh, visible, visible, visible. Let's try one more time. If this doesn't work, then uh, we won't learn that today. Okay, so that made the object invisible, but it also made the trail invisible, so that's not quite so useful. Uh, this option is useful for if you need to, say, deactivate the object, like you want it still running, but you don't, you just want to switch it off in the animation. That's, uh, that's what that option is useful for. Um, let's see, we just set the opacity to one, so now we've got this thing opaque again. So yeah, there you go. There are some uh, display options for your animation, and you can use this with any shape. You can use this for box, for curve, uh, for, I believe, any shapes in VPython. Um, so thank you all again so much for your questions. Please keep them coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.